I, I think we have two uh, issues. One is the short-term um, impact and the other is the medium term. The short term, of course, is that uh, the macroeconomic optics look very good um, for the Gulf countries, of course, because of the higher oil price, uh, better revenues, surpluses, uh, GDP, everything will look good this year as long as oil stays at these levels, if not rise a bit further. Of course, for the oil important countries of the non-Gulf countries of the Middle East, it, less, it looks less good. And we've seen that with what has been going on in Egypt. Uh, but even in the case of Egypt, um, it's because of the standing, the good standing of the Gulf Arab countries that has made them support Egypt. Uh, over the last four to five weeks with, with the measures they have taken. So overall, it looks good for the short term. Now, for the medium term, if this is a trigger, if the Ukraine crisis continues, and this is a trigger for um, a global recession, of course, this is not the only trigger. Um, this is going to end up being not so good for the Gulf oil producing states because uh, we will go into a demand destruction environment, oil prices will go down, and the break even for the entire Gulf, give or take a few dollars, is around 65 to $70 a barrel. So if we go into a global economic recession, oil is not going to be at $70, of course, it will go below that.